Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ Fulry, and welcome back to Planet Crafter. We are on the 1.0 update. You guys might be thinking, Cage, what was with that video a day or two ago? Like, that wasn't the 1.0 update. Why'd you put that up? Well, <laughs> I recorded that video like over a month ago before Supermarket Simulator blew up, and I didn't have any room for it in my schedule, but I did keep it, and I knew I would put it up at some point, and I thought this would be the perfect time. So that was not the 1.0 update. This one definitely is, and it is a fantastic update. We've got co-op, we've got new creatures, tier 4 jetpack, uh, tier 6 backpack, a new pin chip, we got a tier three light, new biomes, cascade, grassland, and rainbow caves. And you can end the game. They said you can end the game. I, I feel like that's poor choice of words. I think they mean finish the game, complete the game, beat the game, but end the game. I mean, I can just delete my save and end the game. Uh, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure they mean finish. Like you could build like a rocket and go back up into orbit and everything. They have a supply all button for logistics. So I was I was like asking for this last episode, and here you go. Um, so there you go, you just hit this, and it'll take everything out, and now we can do drop chest auto sorting, and that is phenomenal. So this is my drop chest right here. I just kind of drop stuff in here. Um, pulsar quartz, is that full? It, it should be full. Uh, where are the pulsar? Where's the pulsar quartz? There it is. Oh yeah, it is full, look at that. Um, I have been picking up larva, because we are going to be doing, we're going to be working on some things I haven't worked on yet, really. Uh, we are working our way towards mammals. And what my problem is biomass, all right? Insects is, I don't know, insects is okay, I guess, but I want to I want to boost insects and I really want to start working on animals. So let's see how we can do that. I believe my best insect thing is the butterfly uh, thingies right here, but I need a uh, larva for them. I need, I need butterfly larva. Now that golden one, I'm pretty sure I found. I uh, probably found all of these, honestly. Let's go see if we can make some more butterfly larva. And then we're gonna we're gonna put down some more of those butterfly thingies. Work on insects, and we're gonna work on animals today. It's gonna be awesome. And let's come on in here and see what we can do. So, uh, B butterfly, 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 butterfly. All right, these are all butterflies. It looks like it. Okay, so I can make this blue one right here with tier two mutagen and rare larva. Tier two mutagen is not that easy to make, and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh. Actually, well, I guess I'll just show you it right now because we're going to go get it. Uh, but before I go get it, I'm going to take a lot of this common, common larva with me. There we go. We'll leave the uncommon here. And there's a reason I'm bringing this with me. You need common larva and honey to make the tier two mutagen. So that's freaking, that's crazy. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm always picking these up when I go buy them now. I don't even care what they are. I'm just picking them up. So this thing right here produces honey. I don't know how long it takes, but I think we should make some more of these. And what is that? That's like a, a bee, bee thing. Yeah, beehive. Oh, so we need bee larva for that. The rest of the stuff shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Let's go in here and let's get some tier 2 mutagen. Hopefully, I've been I've been setting it up to make some, but uh, it's, you know, it's not going to be easy because the, the game doesn't have what it needs. Um, like, where am I going to put the, where am I going to put the tier 2 larva? You know what? Um, it's got to be, it's got to be in here. I don't know. You know what? I'll just put it in with the honey for now. I don't think I'm going to need tier two, tier 2 larva in here very much. So there we go. Now it'll grab the honey and the Tier 2 larva, and it will make the mutagen. So back, I'm making bacteria samples. I also have mutagen being made. I also have, well, now we have Tier 2 mutagen being made and Tier 3 mutagen. So it's only the Tier 2 I'm having a problem with because of the stupid larva and the, and the stupid honey. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough. So it's making it. It's right here. I'll just go ahead and take that all. And let's go over there and see if we can make some uh, uh, some of those good butterflies. And then we'll make some uh, more butterfly thingies. We have to make some more honey thingies as well. Uh, it gets a little confusing at this stage in the game, but it's, it's all the information's here. It's pretty fun. Uh, I'm just going to go grab the... Uh, that's tier one fertilizer. And I believe I have some right, right here because I didn't have enough room for it. Uh, well, only three. Let's go grab some more. Uh, fertilizer. I don't know where I put fertilizer. Oh, fertilizer is right here. There we go. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, so a lot of people don't know this world. I didn't realize, guys. If you go in the if you go in the description of this or any of these Planet Crafter videos, you will see a playlist 
for this series. Now, this is only episode 10. I When I made this playlist, I made a concerted effort to get as far as possible as quickly as possible. I still showed everything, but, you know, I just I did it very um, economically with my time. So you could watch this entire season, how I got up to this point in 10 episodes. Um, so it isn't if you're if you're interested in this, it is. Uh, there's a link in the description to the season and you go check it out. I'm, I'm not going to give you a tour because I know a lot of people already know about this world. And honestly, I think the tour is pretty, the, the base is pretty self-explanatory with one exception, the crafting room. So, uh, right here you have these auto crafters and they only have a certain amount of area they can work with. So I put the auto crafters in the very middle of the room and then I used all these super storage all the way around. And I have like pretty much every storage thing in the game right here. And I have some that are open so I could, I could add more if I need to. And the fact that they're in the, these are in the middle of the room means these things can auto craft around the entire room, which um, I'm very proud of. I'm very happy with the way that came out. All right, let's go make some uh, some thingies. This is my this is my like bio area. This is all my food, you know. Uh, do I need a butterfly dome for something? I I don't have one. I feel like I should make one. Um, I don't know where I would put it though. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just stay focused for now on what we're doing, and then we'll uh, kind of move on from there. Uh, what do we need here? All right, so we need rare larva, TOT mutagen, and fertilizer. Oh, that's right. You don't click it here. You put it in there. So rare larva, mutagen, and fertilizer. Rare larva, mutagen, and fertilizer. Research. There you go. There you go. And that'll take a little bit of time. I wonder why it's a question mark. I guess I haven't used it before. But um, all right, let's um, let's let's see if I can find a spot for the butterfly thing. I don't know where I would put it, though. Let's take a look up here. Honestly, there's not really a good spot for it. I don't want to put it over here because this is where I got all my uh, my um, algae being made. Maybe I could put it over here. Maybe open this up. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let me see what I need. All right, so we're going to need... Um, okay. Yeah, I could probably have this come over here and do a butterfly thing over here. I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I feel like maybe, maybe I could put the butterfly thing on top. I don't know, maybe. Let's see how big it is. Oh, I don't have the materials for it, so I guess I can't see how big it is, but there it is. Butterfly dome. Do we have a tier two? I don't see a tier two. So, uh, insert butterfly lever to increase insect levels. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll give it a shot. That is so weird. That's the second time I got a golden butterfly larva. I didn't even know that could happen. I think it's an RNG thing. I don't know. But I'm going to keep making these things because they're freaking awesome. I also went ahead and made three silkworms because I'm going to have to do, start doing silk. Um, normally, I was getting these butterfly larvae here. Uh, well, actually, those are red. I thought I was going for blue. Rare larva, tier 2 mutagen. Oh, so it's... it's it's Okay, so I see what's going on here. It's random. It's randomized. So sometimes you'll get the red one, I guess, because it's the same exact recipe. Sometimes you'll get the red one. Sometimes you'll get the blue one. And I guess sometimes you'll get a gold one. So it's either a thousand or twelve hundred. Okay, that that's my understanding. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of put all this stuff in here, and we need to make ourselves a silk generator. So we need oxygen. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and pin it. Somebody said there's an easy way to unpin it, but I don't I don't know of an easy way. Like I, I figured you cl click here or click here or something, but there's no easy way to unpin those, as far as I can tell. Um, although I might just be missing it. So let's come over here. Let's get a zeolite and an, uh, ooh oxygen. Do I have any oxygen anywhere? You know, I don't think I do. I can craft that, right? <laughs> I haven't done that in forever, man. Um, oh, yeah, just a couple cobalt. Okay. No big deal. Two cobalt coming up. And let me check on my... um. Yeah, it's super alloy. Okay, super alloy was getting kind of low, but I took care of it. I had crazy... I had crappy miners at the... Uh, at the mine for the super alloy. So I, I went ahead and put that at tier three miner so I could target super alloy. But okay, uh, what else do we need? Um, zeolite right here, one of those. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves oxygen. And let's go ahead. Oh, I made the butterfly dome. Did I show you guys making the butterfly dome? You know what? I don't think I did, but I made the butterfly dome and here it is. And it's pretty, I don't see the point of it if I'm gonna be honest. Um, I did put one of these uh, thousand larva things in here, but it's only giving me 200 GS, which is not a lot. It's not a lot at all. Um, the only thing I could think that would make the butterfly dome useful in any way is that you get it way before you get the butterfly farm. Question mark? That's what I think anyway. But whatever. It's there. It looks cool. Whatever. It's not, it's not hurting anybody. 
So let's go ahead. Oh, we got the blue one. Cool. We got to keep these things going, by the way. Uh, rare. And we don't have the mutagen. Okay, whatever. You know what? I'll deal with it later. Let's do the silk. Let's do the silk thing first. And we can just... Mm, seems like a pretty good spot for it to me. All right. And it just makes silk or... I don't have to do anything. Mm, maybe we should make a few of these. I really don't want to wait that long. All right, if I'm going to make a few of them, we're going to put them in a different spot. Uh, you know, we could just put them right here. That seems like a... Well, I don't want to, I don't want to like, mess with that view. That's a nice view. Right here seems good. All right, so we're going to need more oxygen, zeolite. Let's make a few of these. Oh, silkworms. Never mind. I don't have the silkworms. All right, let's just make one for now. And hopefully it won't take too long uh, to make the silk. Okay, we're looking good there. Uh, so I... I think I'm just gonna grab this stuff. Cool, cool. And now let's work on some more, let's work on some more insect stuff, which is these. So let's go ahead and pin that. So how do I unpin this easily? I don't know. I don't see any way to unpin it. I'm gonna have to like find the item and then right click it. Although the item just happened to be right there. So no harm, no foul. And we're going to make, how, are we gonna, how many are gonna make of these? I don't know. Let's just make another four, I guess. One, two, three, four. How hard is tier two fertilizer to make? I might want to start making some of that. Mm. The thing is, it takes the regular fertilizer and I need that. Um, I actually ran out of crafting things here. Okay. Let's stop this. Let's do regular fertilizer. Take all that out. All right. That's looking good. And then right here, we'll do the tier two fertilizer. And take all. Okay. Looking good. I don't have any room for this uh, bioplastic, so I'm just going to kind of put it in here for now. All right. Now let's get the zeolite and the nuggets. Here's the nuggets. And let's get some zeolite. Beautiful. And now we're looking good. Let's go ahead and have something to drink, something to eat. Grab another piece of food. Beans are the best bang for your buck, in my opinion. And let's go over here and put down some more of these uh, butterfly farms. And as many as we can. Two, three, four. Now we got to get the larva, put it in there. I got to continue working on larva, and then we're going to start working on animals. Um, the animal thing should be pretty easy. This thing right here, 825 animals per second, which seems awesome. Insert frog eggs to create frogs. Cool. And that looks like a pretty easy thing to make, too. So, I don't have a lot of frog eggs, though. I only have one. And I think I got to craft it into a frog egg. Uh, yeah, so, oh, that's an animal multiplier of 100. But I think if I put it in here, I can get up to 150 if I make tier, tier, tier 4 mutagen, which I will make. All right, so let's grab, let's grab the golden ones. And then we got two. Oh, so we made four, exactly what we need. Let's see if this really starts moving the, uh, the needle on the insects. And there we go. So it doesn't do anything unless you actually put the uh, the butterflies in there. Butterfly, 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 butterfly. All right. So the blue one's nine hundred. The um the red is seven fifty, and the gold is one point three kgs, which is also I guess um one thousand one hundred and three hundred. 30 or something like that cool so let's see how much that's moving the insect needle now hopefully that helped a lot i don't know gotta take a look uh barely barely an inconvenience yeah that's um that's really slow i think that's the best i can do with insects right now i don't even oh hold on i got something else we could do with insects so I'm starting to get a little confused on some of this uh, stuff. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and make the backpack. I've been forgetting to make the backpack. And there we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So do I just have to go around picking up larva? larva? Like, I, I think at some point I read you can, like, craft the common larva. But the uncommon, which is what you need for bees, you got to run around uh, and get. But then you could get, like, bee larva from the tier 2 beehive. So... But that's like it's taking me a while to get to the tier two beehive. I'm just getting a little, I'm getting a little mixed up now with this stuff. It's getting pretty complicated. Um, but you know, we'll work our way through it. 
And this thing is producing uh, silk. You can see right here, I have the silk coming in here, which is awesome. And I am making uh, um, bee larva right now, which is um, uncommon mutagen and fertilizer. And we're going to need, I think, three of these for one seed rocket. Yeah, they're not seed rocket, uh, uh, insect rocket. So there's an insect rocket I could do, but I need like three bee larvae for it. It's freaking crazy. Um, so <laughs> we'll just kind of see how it goes. There's also like a place in the world that spawns a lot of good larvae. And what people do is they build like a little base up there, wherever it is. I'll find out where it is probably for next episode. But they build the base up there and they just put platforms all over the place. And it's a pretty easy way to get larvae. So maybe I'll kind of mess around with that. Um, as well. Yeah, there we go. Insect spreader rocket. You need three bee larva. But the insect multiplier will be a thousand, which is what I think I need because I put down like I doubled I doubled these um uh butterfly butterfly farms and it barely like did much. So I think we really need that multiplier rocket at this point. So that's what we're gonna be working on. And while we're working on that, we're also gonna start oh common larva for two? I guess common larva's not that bad. Alright, so this is um for frogs. And yeah, you can't put it on these. So we're just, I don't know where I want to put this, honestly. I kind of like it by the water. So yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so there you go. And that's doing um, 75 for plants. A little heat, a little pressure. But we're going to go ahead and get a frog thingy. So let's come in here and get a frog thingy. Uh, so we need this. Now, can we turn this into a, a better frog thingy easily? Um, tier 4 mutagen. I guess I sh I guess I should do that. All right, let's go make a, two a tier four mutagen. And do I even have a, like a spot for tier four mutagen? I don't think I do. I think it's only one, two, and three. Yeah, okay. That's gonna be a problem. But I guess it is what it is. Uh, let's stop. Let's stop making. Ro oh, they're not even taking out rockets. Is my rocket thing full? My rocket thing might be full. All right, so tier four mutagen, which is pretty easy. And we'll just make like, um, know, let's make a couple of them. Probably gonna need them for other things as well. So let's go ahead and take care of this frog thing. <laughs> the game gets confusing with all this like DNA manipulation stuff. Um, so that's, uh, this, the frog and the mutagen. Okay, so we'll take this, the frog, and the mutagen. It's weird that it only takes two items. That's weird. Like, very, very weird. All right, cool. Um, do we have, uh, okay, so we do have three of the uh, bee larva now. So let's just go ahead and set off a rocket. It sucks I'm only be doing one rocket, man. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of blows. Um, where do I keep my rockets? I don't know, I saw, it, I saw it earlier, but now I don't know where they are. Rockets, where are you? All right, I have everything I need for the in insect spreader rocket. And that should help us out quite a bit. There we go, and see, insect spreader. There you go. Oh, interesting looking rocket. All right, get going, buddy. I don't know if it's gonna like drop anything, like cause any like kind of, uh, gives a global genera uh, generation bonus by spreading insects from outer space. Okay, so it doesn't like drop anything. It's not like some of the other rockets. I guess there's only like two rockets that drop stuff, but. All right, cool. So we're gonna give that a little bit of time and we're gonna go around and look for more of these guys. The uncommon seems relatively common. Uh, I, I'm not even like building anything here that I would like be using to specifically search out larva and I'm still getting a decent amount of larva. Um, so I gotta, I gotta find out what that special area is. I, I could build a teleporter there. So it shouldn't be a problem. Speaking of teleporters, uh, let's go take a look at my power supply because it seemed pretty good, but let's see. So, oh my goodness, it's barely moving. Well, of course, we're not, I didn't really do much. So we we can we we're producing thirty four thousand power, only using sixteen thousand. So yeah, probably not going to be a problem. How much does the teleporter cost though? Uh, how much do these cost? One hundred fifty. So those are the those are machines that like uh you put fuses in them and they like boost stuff. Nothing I care about though. Like it's um the, the fuses I have will only boost things like, um, oh, I didn't, I didn't even know I had that. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna use that. Uh, <laughs> this one will boost um, power multiplier, which isn't bad, but I don't need the power. This one will boost production uh, production time, but I don't really, it seems like stuff's producing just fine. 
Uh, optimize your increased speed of nearby trade space rockets. Yeah, I don't really care about any of that. Like, honestly. Okay, let's go put this in the frog thing. And see what this is going to do for us. Okay, so animals 4.13 kg. That seems like a lot. Like, just, I almost had no animal production or whatever. And now I have, like, a ridiculous animal production. Let's go see how good it's doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Damn, that's insane. The insect thing is going up pretty good, too. So I got to get to that tier two beehive. Um, I believe. Oh, yeah. Look, generates bee larva. There you go. That's I need that. And this is just going to freaking go crazy. Um, fish farm, lerma seeds, common larva. Yeah, that's insane. That was at like 10. <laughs> and it wasn't like moving. Now it's just going crazy. Look at this. This thing's going to unlock soon. Any second now. Unbelievable. That was freaking awesome, dude. Let's see. Let's put this unlock. Two point. Okay, when that gets to T, it'll start slowing down. But that's okay. Uh, fresh eggs. 250. And unlocked. Cool. Cool. I'm waiting for that tier two beehive as well. That's going to be the real good one. Let's see the things that unlocked. So, yeah, animal multipliers. 300. Okay, so that phytoplankton, whatever the heck, whatever the heck that is, I need to make this right here to start generating that stuff. And that's what I need the silk for. So I've got a decent amount of silk, so let's go do that. So I went out and grabbed another one of those frog thingies, the um, generic frog eggs. And I just run around the... Uh, I just run around the world and kind of look for them. Uh, in case you didn't see, you know, maybe I didn't show it. Maybe you didn't see. I don't know. But I feel like there's these little frog thing thingies around. And you can go find that stuff there. So I don't know if it, re I don't know if it respawns or anything. But I also put these down. Again, I'm not sure if I showed you this or not. But I built these things. Uh, these water life collectors. And they collect these. Um, oh, fish eggs. Okay, I didn't expect fish eggs. Interesting. Anyway, they collect a bunch of stuff. Let me show you what I've been collecting with them. There we go. And they just go right in here. And I've got all these um, photoplankton? Phy phy phytoplankton? I don't know. Whatever. Plankton stuff. You know? <laughs> so I used one of those to make a set of fish eggs. Okay. So now we got our fish eggs here. And I'm going to put that in the aquarium that I made like forever ago. And see what this does. All right, so it's animals 12 kg per second. That is awful. That is really, really weak sauce. Holy moly. Um, I did put down another frog thing as well. So that's 12 kg a second. Even this weak frog thing is giving me um, 1.24. So 1,200, 1,240 kgs per second, I believe. So yeah, the fish thing is kind of weak. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that, but maybe it's because I got it a long time ago. I should have been doing it already. I don't know. Or maybe I'm reading it wrong. Maybe it is good and I just don't know. It looks cool. It looks cool. But yeah, 12, 12 G's per second. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, let's come over here and take a look at the animal thing has come slowed down to a crawl, which I knew it would. Uh, and insects is still going crazy. And once we get that tier two beehive, we can go even more crazy with it. Um, cause then I could get the, uh, oh, what is that? Oh, is that an Ospium? Yeah, this is our Ospium asteroid. Wait, no, it's more than one. What is this? Is this Ospium or what? Uh, sulfur. Not really sure. All right, I'm not really concerned about it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so for animals, we're going to just go crazy with the animals. We need to put down more of these. We need to find more frog thingies because you got to put frogs in here. So that's um, that's pretty interesting. I'd like to be able to do more with the fish with the fish though, but the aquarium doesn't seem very good. You know, animals four per second. This is twelve uh, g's per se g per second, and it doesn't seem that, that that good. Is there something that's better for animals? Well, the cool thing is I could go I could go hardcore with the with the um, the insect rockets once I can get the bees uh, the bee larva. You know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what else is what else is better for animals? So I think that's my best animal thing, by far. But I need frogs for it, right? Yeah, you need frogs. So let's see if there's a oh, oh goodness, okay. Um, let's see if there's something better. 
allows the extraction of genes from a multitude of living beings. Okay. Uh, there's another it's insect. Well, that's all insect stuff. Um, oh, fish farm. Okay. Maybe the, oh, and I'll, I'll have the fish farm pretty soon. Maybe that'll be better. This, this stuff is really complicated, but I'm having a good time with it. It's confusing when you first like do it, but I'm sure it's easy once you've got the hang of it. Oh, hydration levels. Drink, drink. I keep forgetting to drink out of the freaking lakes because I have a, um, I have a, a water filter. So let's go ahead and put down our first tier two beehive. All right, and I'll put it right next to the other. These are beehives, right? Yeah, I'll put it right next to the other beehives. And this is going to give us 390 insects, 358 plants. Okay, how much does this give me for insects? Yeah, like 15. <laughs> Although these are giving me like one point, you know, 1,130. I assume I'm like, I got that right. But the thing about this is it will also give us some um, bee larva, which is really important. So there we go. And yep. So we get honey and bee larva. So we need to take everything out of here and we need a place to put the bee larva. So I gotta make sure the bee larva gets um, taken out. So let's come on over here and we'll put the bee larva, I guess in here. I'm worried this is gonna fill up, but uh, bee larva, uncommon bee. There we go. Now let's see how long it'll take to produce stuff. Cause it does tell you how much, it, how long it takes to produce stuff now. See the production time, 200 seconds. I didn't notice that. That is really, really nice. Oh, by the way, I put down a fish thingy, a fish farm, and it's giving me with um, one of these um, fish eggs, 300%. It's giving me 585 animals, which is it's pretty good. It's not as good as the frogs, but the frogs are kind of limited at the moment. So, all right. So how long for this? 130 seconds. So one thing we could do, and I guess I'm going to, is we can make a tier two, uh, a tier two machine optimizer, and then we could put production in this thing and make it so we produce things faster over there. And I, that bee larva, we're gonna need the bee larva, so um, I think that might be a good use for it. So let's go ahead and grab some explosive powder. Let's grab a uranium rod, and then three, three obsidian. Now, if you're new to this uh, series and you haven't watched the whole thing, you might be wondering, well, where do you get obsidian from? What's, what's with this obsidian? Well, check it out. Uh, volcanic biome and you set up an auto miner in the volcanic biome piece of cake all right uh, the volcanic biome is can I zoom out there you go so here's where I live um can't let me see like I can can I how do I go up there oh there we go so this is where I live it's kind of weird my place is not showing up on the map but this is where I live and then you come through here and that's the volcanic biome right here. Pretty cool. And then you set up a one of these, and there you go, there you go, obsidian. Now I will teleport back. Love it, love this game. Overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, worth every single review. This game's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this right here. Okay. And then we need a fuse for it. Okay. Oh, you can put extra. F I didn't know you could put more than one fuse in there. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. Uh, so we are looking for the production multiplier fuse. And we'll just put three of them in there. I don't see any reason not to. It was three spots, right? I think it was three spots. Yep. So right now we're at a time of 130 seconds. And now 74 seconds. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Now, does it. Do they, do they actually stack? They do stack. Oh, that is interesting. You can actually trade for these as well through the trade system over here. So I have my rockets. I am uh, selling... Uh, what am I selling? I'm selling uh, circuit boards. So once that, once this thing is full, it'll, it'll go up into space. It'll sell all the circuit boards, and you can buy a lot of these um, plant modifiers. You could buy fish eggs down here. You could buy frog eggs. All right, so I got to start making some more money. Now, one really good way to make money is to go through the teleporter and explore um, shipwrecks. We're not going to get to that today. It's too much work to do here at home, but that is a really good way to get, you know, money, and I will definitely be doing it. Probably the best way to get money, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Um, but uh, not today. Not today. So I want to make some more of these fish things. So what do I need for those? Okay, so that's I think that's type A. So, oh, we don't have enough... Uh, 
Yeah, you know what? I should probably make one of those uh, uh, production things right here, too, because I'm not getting enough silk. 200 seconds is a long time. I'll probably do that off camera, though. I will probably do that off camera. All right, so we need A. Okay, so we're going to make a few of these. We can only make... We could probably make two. I'll bet you this is where my silk's going, by the way, uh, permanently. All right, so let's go ahead and grab six bioplastic, and then we'll make a couple of these fish things. Then we'll make some fish eggs, and we should be off to the races. My goodness, this game. It seems like like a lot of times I'll be playing a survival game, and people will be like, well, what's different about this survival game? What I? And I don't know if you... I guess you, this isn't really a survival game. You don't have to worry about water and oxygen um, and falling in the, you know, volcanic pits and stuff. But, you know, I don't know if I would call it a survival game, really. But, you know, people are like, why what is the game different? Well, this game's different as hell. <laughs> this game is really different than anything else out there. Like, not even close. So, I don't know if it matters if these are close together. So, I'm not going to worry about it. And uh, let's come out in here and make a couple more fish eggs. Can I make better fish eggs yet? Not yet. Okay. So, we need um, C, Tier 2 Mutagen and Fertilizer. Tier 2, Mutagen, Fertilizer I already have, and C is, if you organize them, C should be at the bottom. How many are we going to make? Uh, just two. We only need two. So let's go ahead and make two. I feel like my world kind of stalled out a little bit there, but now we are really, really moving. So let's go over here. We're going to put another frog thing in here. These frog things are the best way to go. Uh, as far as animals go, but it's like, you know, uh, what is that? 200%. That's not bad. 1.65. This one is 1.24. And this one is 4.13 because that was the, uh, that, I, don't know, I must have looted it or something. But yeah, once we got the, uh, the frogs going, it really started kicking up. And, uh, now we've got the fish as well. The fish aren't quite as good as the frogs, but they're easier to get the fish eggs. Yeah. Yeah. And all right, five, five, eight, five. Beautiful. All right. And we also should have bee larvae coming in. I don't know if we actually have any in here. And yeah, we only have one. So I'm wondering. Oh, never mind. I didn't see it at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, we've got a lot of bee, bee larvae. I'm going to have to kind of make a maybe a bee larva chest specifically for that because this, this thing's going to fill up pretty quick. Pretty quick. All right. Let's see what we got going on over here. All right, so this thing is just flying. At 800, we get that. I don't know what that's good for. Uh, at 925, we get that. And then at 1.12 uh, KT, we get that. That's awesome. And at 22, we're going to get the common larva, which is what I was really, like, wanted. I don't know if that means, like, craft common larva. I think it does, but I'm not really sure. Because there's also rare larva, and you can't... I, I was told you can't craft rare larva, although this might have been old information. So... Um, next episode, we will have the common larva. We are really moving along here. This is awesome. And I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.